The movie begins by showing Eppermint calling his lawyer to burn a ninja doll and remove evidence to escape prison. On the other hand, Alex, who now lived his life as a ninja, always practiced eradicating crime. When Alex was having breakfast with his family, his stepfather, John, announced that he had just received a big job bonus. He wanted to invite his family for a holiday abroad. He gave his family the freedom to choose the country they wanted to visit by putting the name of a selected country in a box. At the same time, Alex was waiting for a message from Jessica, his girlfriend, but no reply. After that, Alex decided to go to Jessica's house. Arriving there, he met Jessica's father, who asked her to come down to meet Alex. It turned out that Jessica was with her friends, who happened to be there. Alex was disappointed that she preferred to go to a party with them than go with him. Jessica said that she couldn't take Alex to the party because his appearance looked like a child. On his way home, the sad Alex got a call from Odie, his best friend. Alex asked him for advice on how to be a bad boy, and Odie responded by laughing at it. Suddenly, Alex's cell phone signal was lost, along with rain and lightning. Soon, Alex rushed home on his bike. But on the way, he saw a porcupine that was struck by lightning. Alex fell off the bike while trying to avoid the porcupine. Alex feared at porcupine that kept staring at him. After the porcupine spoke, Alex was surprised because Nakamura said something was wrong with Epperman's case. Then Alex took Nakamura home to his house. Arriving at the house, Alex gave Nakamura milk, and they saw on TV the news that Eppermint was about to be released from prison because all the evidence was lost. Ten children who were witnesses to his crimes in a Thai factory disappeared, and the factory manager was also found dead. Hearing that, Eppermint would be released within a week. Nakamura asked Alex to go to Thailand and find the missing evidence to get Eppermint to receive the punishment he deserved. Nakamura then said if Alex wanted to carry out his mission, he could become a real ninja, like Nakamura and the bad boy he wanted. Soon, Alex's mother came to his room and asked him to move his porcupine to the shed because his stepfather was allergic to animals. At the shed, Alex gave Nakamura some more milk and said he would move Nakamura to a doll. Alex then showed him a Barbie doll that Nakamura immediately rejected. Alex went to see his mother and asked her to make a ninja doll like his birthday present. While helping his mother in the kitchen, Alex persuaded her to go on vacation to Thailand. In the evening, John announced the results of the vote of the country they would visit, and their holiday destination was Thailand. After that, Alex met Nakamura at the shed to tell him they were going to Thailand. But Nakamura, who was in the porcupine's body, looked sick from drinking too much milk. Alex immediately went into his house to get his mother's doll for Nakamura. Once the doll's bag was placed next to him, blue lightning suddenly appeared, which caused an explosive effect. Alex immediately approached Nakamura, who had moved to a pink plaid ninja doll. He took Nakamura to his room. Nakamura protested with his new look, let alone his body filled with beans. Oh, I can't. There's no way I can show my face anywhere. People will think I'm a girl. After that, Alex's family went to Thailand. They went to the hotel Alex had booked across from the prison. Then Alex took Nakamura out of his bag and said that they were already in Thailand and that the Eppermint would be out of jail around 2 o'clock. Soon, Alex's father took them for a walk in the Bangkok City Market. That's where Alex bought a sword toy for Nakamura. Alex asked his parents for permission to walk around alone. At first, his mother didn't allow him, but she finally let Alex go. After that, Alex rushed away to the prison. Upon arriving in the parking lot, he gave Nakamura a toy sword that he had bought earlier, which turned out to be also pink. So many journalists gathered outside the prison, and shortly after, Eppermint came out. The reporters immediately asked a lot of questions for him. Suddenly, Nakamura spoke like the voice of a female reporter. He said that Eppermint beat a kid with a stick until he died. After his lawyer defended Eppermint, they left in a car. 
Alex and Nakamura followed him straight away, using a bajaj to get to a cafe. Alex monitored Eppermint remotely, while Nakamura tried to get close to hear more clearly. Alex then got a call from Odie, who informed him that Jessica had just been kissed by another guy at a party yesterday. Then, Alex checked Jessica's Instagram, and he saw her making out with another guy. Alex was out of focus on his mission, and he didn't realize that Nakamura was taken by a kid. Then the kid's mother took Nakamura to Eppermint because she intended to return him. She taught the doll belonged to the Eppermint. But the waiter said it belonged to Alex, sitting on the other side of the bench. Seeing the ninja doll, Eppermint was reminiscent of the black plaid ninja doll that put him in prison. Eppermint and his lawyer then left because they felt threatened by the doll. As a result, Alex lost track of them. Unknowing where to go, Alex suddenly saw a card falls off the table. The card shows a club called Lucky Fucky, with a list of 10 children who were witnesses and declared missing. In the evening, Alex took Nakamura to dinner at a restaurant near Lucky's Club. When ordering the food, Alex went to the toilet, but actually, he wanted to go to Lucky's Club. Once there, Alex was barred from entering because he was a minor. Nakamura found another way in through the window, and they broke into Epperman's lawyer's office. They immediately searched the list of 10 children. At the same time, Jessica called Alex suddenly and admitted to being with a man at the party. Then Jessica and Alex got into a fight. Seeing that, Nakamura took Alex's phone and turned it off. Soon, Eppermint and his lawyer came in. Alex and Nakamura hid under the table. Eppermint's lawyer handed over a document containing a list of 10 children who were witnesses. It turned out that those children were deliberately hidden, so the prosecutor couldn't trace them. When they were chatting, Alex's phone rang and got them both caught by the lawyer. It was Alex's mother calling him for having been gone too long. Eppermint realized that Alex was the kid he saw at the cafe. Eppermint was frightened and hugged the document very tightly. He immediately left the room while carrying the documents. Seeing that, Nakamura didn't stand still. He tried to chase Eppermint into seizing the data, while Alex, left alone, was being held by that lawyer. He asked Alex how he could be in his room. Alex then said he was with his father inside the club and accidentally entered his room. On the other hand, Nakamura tried hard to seize the data using various means. Unfortunately, he failed because he was hit by a motorcycle and bounced. Meanwhile, a drunken man named Stuart, Alex's uncle, suddenly appeared when the lawyer was about to hit Alex. Stuart was looking for a toilet and accidentally entered the room. He then beat the lawyer unconscious, and Alex was pleased to be safe. Am I right, Alex? After that, Alex invited Stuart for dinner with his family. Alex's mother was delighted to meet Stuart, but unlike her, John and Alex's half-brother soon were not pleased with his coming, but they all ended up eating together. At the same time, Nakamura returned to Alex's place and went straight into his bag. Soon accidentally saw Alex's ninja doll move. Arriving at the hotel, Alex immediately scolded Nakamura, who left him alone. Nakamura turned to scold him, who was not focused on his mission. While arguing, Soon suddenly came and saw Alex talking to his doll. Soon then asked Alex to come to discuss the matter with his parents about the vacation. Alex left Nakamura outside the room when it was raining. Meanwhile, John asked Stuart not to join them on their vacation. Then Alex had an idea and suggested to his family to go on holiday to a small island in Bangkok, where there was only one trip to the island. Hearing that, John rushed to pack his things. In the morning, they immediately went to the port so as not to meet Stuart. When they arrived, Stuart was waiting for them and holding their tickets. At the harbor, Alex accidentally saw Eppermint and heard him say he was running out of boat tickets to the island. Eppermint wanted to go to the island to see one of the factory employees who was a witness before the prosecutor found him. 
After Alex reached the island and entered his in-room, he again argued with Nakamura. Alex was still angry with him, and he left Nakamura in the hotel room. After that, Alex visited several restaurants around the island to find an eyewitness, Honey Bee, looking by Eppermint. When Alex was about to cross the road, he bumped into Jesper, who used to be an Eppermint translator. Then Alex asked him to find Honey Bee before Eppermint did. After listening to Alex's explanation, Jesper agreed to help and asked Alex to meet him tomorrow at his shop. Shortly after, Alex returned to the hotel and immediately told Nakamura that he had just met with Eppermint's translator, who would assist them. At that time, Alex saw a lighted drone on his room table. It turned out that Soon was spying on him. Now Soon knew that Alex's ninja doll was alive, and Alex asked him to keep it a secret. Soon agreed with that on condition that he was also invited on their mission. The three of them finally went to Jesper's shop. Alex asked Soon to wait outside while he and Nakamura went into the store to see Jesper. Inside the store, it turned out Jesper framed Alex. There was Eppermint in there and been waiting for Alex. When Nakamura tried to attack, he was shot by the lawyer to make his body flat because all the nuts in his body came out. Meanwhile, Soon was outside and didn't realize that Alex was in danger. The scene turns to the shop where Alex, Nakamura, and Jesper are locked. The lawyer took a gas cylinder that he put on the stove. He intended to set the store on fire, and they locked up there. After that, Eppermint and his lawyer went to see Honey Bee. On the other hand, Soon was eating ice cream at the next shop. Still locked up, Alex had an idea to put Nakamura in a gun and shoot him out so Soon could help them get out of there. But Alex's shot was too hard to get Nakamura into the gutter. Fortunately, Soon saw Nakamura and immediately rushed to them. Alex and Jesper survived the fire. Then Jasper, awake from unconsciousness, told Alex that Honey Bee was in a Cobra Farm restaurant. He gave his bike to Alex and Soon to go there. On their way, Alex put a lot of candy to fill Nakamura's flattened body. They accidentally crossed paths with Eppermint and his lawyer. Eppermint and his men instantly pursued them. The chase happened while Alex filled Nakamura's body. Then Soon chose a shortcut through the woods, but Eppermint's men still followed them. When Alex finished fixing Nakamura, Eppermint's men attacked them, but Nakamura defeated them. Arriving at the restaurant, it turned out that Eppermint and his lawyer had come. His lawyer turned off all the lights. Eppermint then dropped the box containing the cobra. Everyone immediately ran out of fear. Soon the lawyer managed to take Honeybee away, and Eppermint prepared his car to take them away. But when he was about to get in the car, Honeybee bit the lawyer's hand and ran to the cobra farm. When Honeybee was about to be shot, Soon hit that lawyer on a motorcycle and fell. At the same time, Alex, who saw Eppermint chasing Honeybee to the cobra cage, rushed after him. Nakamura rescued Soon, who was about to be attacked by the lawyer who lost and lay unconscious. On the other hand, Alex managed to find Honeybee in cobra captivity, but Eppermint came with his gun. Alex tried to protect Honeybee. When Eppermint was about to shoot him, a drone controlled by Soon hit him. Alex took his gun from Eppermint and turned, threatening him. When Eppermint tried to catch Honeybee, he fell on a cobra box made of glass, and it broke, which got Eppermint killed by the cobras. After that, Honeybee and Alex then went out and hugged Soon. At that time, Soon recorded all the events through his drone and broadcasted them on his social media. Then someone called Soon, and it was Jessica who then expressed her admiration for Alex. However, Alex preferred to turn off his phone and join Honeybee's parents, who came with the police. After the incident, Alex and his family continued their vacation. They were having a meal together. Alex saw Nakamura standing still in his bag and went to the toilet to check it out. The mission was completed, and Alex was sad because Nakamura was going to leave. But Nakamura decides to stay with Alex 
and they will become ninjas to eradicate evil. Alex gave a new doll gift to Nakamura. Then Nakamura moved to a ninja doll with more luxurious silk material and excellent black color, and the movie ended. The moral that can be learned from this movie is the beautiful friendship between Alex and Nakamura. Even though they often disagree, they are always there for each other. It also teaches us the importance of cooperation in solving problems, like Soon and Nakamura, who managed to save Honeybee from Eppermint. Another message is to maintain loyalty. Don't just look at someone from the cover, because the most important thing is the heart. Like when Jessica prefers to be with another guy who looks more fabulous than Alex, but in the end, she regretted. Alex was more dashing than she thought. Thanks for watching.